Right, a few days ago I made this video and to which I thought it was just a false proof that 2 is equal to 0 and I saw that on Reddit. And it goes like this. Start with this equation a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and here a and b are row numbers. And then on the left hand side we just expand it, multiply it out we get this and then let's just subtract a squared and b squared on both sides and we get 2ab is equal to 0 and then divide both sides by ab and we see that 2 is equal to 0. I thought it's pretty cool because we started with this false looking equation, right? And of course, if you look at this right here, this is incorrect because of course 2 is not equal to 0. So where did this go wrong? Well, it all started right here. This right here is not an identity, but it's an equation, meaning that it's true for some values if you give some conditions. So right here, I'll just tell you this right here is true if a equals 0 or b equal to 0. Of course, you can plug it in and you can verify that. Either case though, you see right here, we have a times the b on the bottom. So this is bad because we are dividing by 0. So this right here is not correct. Well, I thought that was it. But thanks to Office 3517, thanks for your comment. You pointed out that the proof is not to show 2 is equal to 0, but it's to show this is not equal to that. And the original post just didn't specify that A and B is not equal to 0. So what do we mean? Let me show you right here. So I don't know, let's put this down right here. Right? So the idea is that we actually want to show, we want to show that A plus B squared is not equal to A squared plus B squared. This is what I want. What we want to show, and it makes a lot more sense now because the title says what, proof by contradiction, and this is a not statement. Yeah, I just saw this right here from the picture. So let's see if you guys agree with the following or not. One thing to mention though, the original post, if he didn't, if he or she did, uh, wanted to show this right here, you had to say this is not true, for. Let's say I'll just say for non-zero a and b. So a is not equal to zero, and b is not equal to zero. Right? And of course, again, a and b are real numbers. So let me just not write that down. So how can we show this? This is a statement has a not right. Usually, you can try to do it with contradiction when you are trying to do a not statement. So here is the proof, right? So I will just say by contradiction, contradiction, right? Assume, assume this is true. A plus B squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And here we also have to take this for the assumption. This is just the negation of that. And you also have to say for A not equal to zero, B not equal to zero. All right, and now you just expand this. So we do it the way that we did over there. A plus B plus times A plus B equals A squared plus B squared. And then work that out, you will get, I'm just going to write that everything again. So A B plus A B plus B squared equals A squared plus B squared. And then that's just minus A squared minus B squared on both sides. Let's be square on both sides. Cancel, 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 cancel. And this right here, you have 2ab equal to 0. Aha, here's the deal. You see that we have 2 times a times b is equal to 0. And because we said that a is not equal to 0 and b is also not equal to 0, so that means what? That means we can now legitimately divide by a and b. Right? Again, we can do this because a is not equal to zero and also b is not equal to zero so this step is legit based on our assumption but even though this step is legit yes we can cancel this the end result it's not legit because on the left hand side we get two and then on the right hand side zero divided by a non-zero number we get zero this is horribly wrong because two is not equal to zero so this is where we get the contradiction so if we have a contradiction, that means our original assumption here is wrong, meaning that the statement that we want to show is actually true. This is not equal to that. 
I feel it's like a logical circle, but this is what happens if you do like contradiction proof. It's a lot of fun though, actually. But yeah, so my mistake on this, I thought it was the proof for two is equal to zero. Um, but if you really wanted to make it a two is equal to zero proof, I think this is also legitimate. Anyway though, yeah, that's it.